I'm Jenny, I live in Dorset in the UK. I thought I'd pop on and show you what I did on Remy the Little Chef yesterday. No swearing was involved. Yeet. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. Me and Amigurumi, I normally end up start cursing. <laughs> but I didn't curse, I redid the legs because they were huge. I was using the wrong hook size, so I got the um, 2.5 hook size and... Um, yeah, I'm probably using the wrong cotton, wool, whatever. But yeah, I I did it. I done done two legs. Um, probably don't both look the same because me and Amigurumi we don't normally get along. But I've done them. There's two legs. Uh, two legs. And I haven't put the wire in because you're supposed to attach them on wire, as I said before. John Luke likes eating wires. He's autistic, so yeah, him and wires. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't have him. So, but yeah, they've done the. I have done two arms, but one's gone bulky somewhere. I did take a photo with all of them, I think. But yeah, I've got two, two arms. I'll find that in a minute. And the head's a bit <laughs> floppy. <laughs> I'm not I'm not good at the stuffing part. I think I don't put enough in but yeah, I put I found some safety eyes so they've got in and I've done the body and that so I did that last night. No swearing involved. Pat me back mm, look. Caught the sun today, you can tell. I'm a bit red. So yeah. Got the Leggies, I'm going to have to sew on. I can't use a wire. Yep, floppy head. In the army. Come on. Like that. <laughs> like that. But yeah, I'll eventually get it done. So I have to start doing the um, chef's apron. Tough them out. out. I wonder if I can get some more wool. wool some more stuffing in there because there's a few holes. In there, I might stuff some more in. I'm getting better, at least I'm doing it. <laughs> I've only done an elephant before, yeah, and I swore like mad when I was doing that one. Um, I used the Sirdar Snugly. Um, I bought a 50 gram full when I went to Dorchester. That's what I got left. So that'd be how to do it. It's exactly the same as the Sirdar. Um, the little ones they've brought out that you get with the little books they're doing. Um, I can't remember what they're called, but I thought I did the sloth out of them and that. So, yeah, might might do the llama. If I can find a book, I've hid it somewhere. Um, that's what I got left out of that. And I got, that's that's the Rico, what, Rico ones. That's what I got left out of that. So I only use that. I think he wants purple. For the coat, so I should do the coat. Speaking of a chef, John Luke's got an interview on Wednesday. Mm. So yeah, level one cooking course on Wednesday. So yeah, so today I went out with Kira, and wasn't planning on going out. Um, so she decided she wanted to go to Bournemouth. So that's why I'm a bit red. We did a lot of walking. I'm knackered, and um, yeah. We walked and walked and walked. Spent £7.50 in Bournemouth on Cornish pasties. That's all we spent in the bus fare getting there. Um, well, I pay, I got an all-day bus ticket. Kira's got a bus pass that she can use. So, yeah, we went all the way around. I enjoyed walking around. Took a load of photos. I did a, I can manage to do an edit video of the photo footage. I haven't found out how to edit these videos yet. That might come eventually. Um, but yeah, I put a load of photos. I took I took a load of photos of some flowers for her to draw. Um, when we were walking through Bournemouth Pavilion Gardens, I love Bournemouth Pavilion because I, I did a lot of um, work experience there when I was younger. Lots of fun. Um, but yeah, I love going through there. So we walked all down there, and then all the way back up. We're in Premark. That place is huge. Absolutely huge. The queue that was going in the um, changing rooms was <laughs> really long. I've never seen such a queue. And we ended up coming back to Pog. 
and ended up buying stuff in Paul Primark for Jean-Luc. Now I got myself a pair of new shoes because my other shoes were hurting my feet. Uh, yes, but I couldn't get the tag off so I had to suffer with my shoes. Um, but yeah, I got Jean-Luc some shirts in there so he could choose something for the interview on Wednesday. It's a day he's in on college anyway, so I think they did that on purpose and um, got home. Here I had her um, math certificates in the post, so it was a good day today. So yeah, she passed her level 1 foundation maths. They want her to do level 2, I think it is, but she's going to ask if she can jump, just jump straight into the GCSEs because she wants to try and get her diploma next year for the art and start university. Yeah. Come on, mum, mate. Yeah, here we're going to university. So, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. So, yeah. So, um, but, yeah, she, we had a good day. Knackering, but good day. I'm tired. Really tired. But, yeah. I've done it, Kim. Reach over and play it too. Hi, Kim. And hello, Kim, in Manchester. Before you moan at me on the phone, I haven't said hello to you yet. <laughs> but yeah, I've got to try and get his head to stop being floppy. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad I found those though. But no, quite pleased with that. I wonder whether it would be better when I put the chef's jacket around it. I might just try and do the curse at the chef's jacket in a minute. That's where the curses are coming in effect. But yeah, I thought I'd pop on and show you. But I have been doing it. And explain what the video was before. So yeah, we had a trip out. I got a all day bus pass, nine pound. I could use it all over. So that was good. And that so I thoroughly enjoyed that. So I think I'm gonna suffer tomorrow. Yeah. Got to take the sun cream. So right, I'm gonna go drink a lot. I think I need a lot of drink. Thirsty. Don't have to do any tea because we had KFC down in pool. I had to sit down for half an hour waiting for the bus. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and I'll see you on the next one.